ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. Now, I gotta do this video, cause there's been a lot of, a lot of crazy shit going down. Now, I came across this article, right? And it's involving Lil Wayne. Hold on. Give me a second while I get this shit straight. It's involving Lil Wayne. Now, it's a 53-year-old woman by the name of Kimberly Rose who's a bodybuilder who got some pictures up on social media of her being physically abused by Lil Wayne. Now, a lot of people thinking like, okay, well, this is like some capping shit. This is cap. This ain't real. This chick is just trying to promote her joint. Possibly. And I do believe you guys to that certain degree. But you also got to take into consideration. She's got fucking pictures, bro. She's got evidence. She's got videos with her being with Lil Wayne. Like, she was Lil Wayne's sex slave. <laughs> this chick was being smutted out. To where she was just a, a complete whore. And she was having threesomes and all types of shit with Lil Wayne. She was just Lil Wayne's bottom piece, right? I know a lot of y'all say to yourselves, well, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne got money. Why would he subject himself to a, a bodybuilding white chick who looked like she got a lot of muscles on her? Why would he subject himself to a woman like this? Well, it's easy. Just think about it. How many bad bitches that you know, that you know, you regular dudes know, and dudes can contest to this because I can say this too, okay? How many dudes you know that a bad bitch would do anything for you? That would be a bottom feeding type of chick. That would want to participate in threesomes. That would do whatever you say by you just Snapping your fingers or just or just asking for shit to happen. You know what I'm saying? There ain't too many females that would do that. So you got to go for chicks who are unattractive that's willing to do things like that. Be a bottom feeder. And this is what you call side pieces. She was nothing more than a side piece. So this girl by the name of Kimberly, right? She says she was in Lil Wayne's uh, private jet. She was in a hotel. She got Dinners, hotel stays, private jet. And, you know, she was just taking videos and pictures of her and Lil Wayne together. And she's going to come out with a tell-all book because she's been physically abused by Lil Wayne. Now, I know a lot of y'all thinking to yourselves, like, okay, this bitch is probably cloud chaser, right? Possibly. But do I believe this situation? In a way, I do. But in a way, I don't. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's true. Because it wouldn't surprise me. See, a lot of dudes out here, and a lot of females out here, they're surprised at the fact that Lil Wayne would probably do something. Like, oh, Lil Wayne? Like, oh, my God. Like, he could get any type of woman that he wants in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, he should be doing this to, like, model-type shorties. You know what I'm saying? Like, model chicks. Like, like these type of chicks, man. Model type bitches that will like do anything for them, but you gotta understand these model type of girls, right? Hold on, what the fuck? All right, never mind. You gotta understand, like the last time Lil Wayne was relevant was like we in 2020 now. Like the last time Lil Wayne was actually relevant. We talking about back in like 2000, like 16, 15 and shit. Or maybe like 2014, 13, probably like no late longer than that. Like, cause he had some problems with cash money on his record label and young money and shit like that. And Lil Wayne hasn't come out in a while. So to the new generation, Lil Wayne's an OG. Nobody's trying to check out for Lil Wayne in 2020. So you got to understand these young chicks that are, like, in shape and they're hot and all that other shit, they're going for the younger niggas, the younger niggas that got their pockets. Not saying that they won't fuck with a Lil Wayne. Of course they would. But as far as being a bottom-feeding bitch to a Lil Wayne, it's not going to happen unless you, like, somebody, like, 
like the NBA young boy or some shit. Or you somebody like who who else? Who else is it like? Why 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 and B or some shit? Like some somebody who's new to the game. Not saying that it can't happen because Little Wayne's pockets is still deep, but at the same time, you gotta understand is that a person in their thirties to these young generation is considered as old nigga. A person who's in their twenties is considered as an old nigga, so they're not gonna go out and do those type of things as they would normally do to a person at their age. Not saying it won't happen, but as being a bottom feeding bitch and that's willing to listen and do whatever the fuck you say because you got money and you Little Wayne. Yeah, of course he's going to get these type of white chicks who's willing to sell themselves. And now the bitch is trying to extort him for money. I think it's quite crazy if you look at it. Because right now, currently as we speak, Lil Wayne is engaged to a model chick. And this chick is not even a model. She look like she about 200 something pounds. But she thick as fuck. But the funny thing about it is Lil Wayne a long time ago says, I love my, my young bitch thick red bone some shit like that he says let me get that pussy you know how he talks and shit but anyways man little wayne said of him himself a long time ago he likes red bones and he likes white skinned women okay so i don't know why dark skin or black women would get upset at the fact that he's with a non-black woman because i mean come on now you could kind of expect this to happen he wouldn't be with a dark skin chick not saying that he doesn't like dark skin women because he's had a baby by him but we gotta be totally honest and fair here i mean a lot of black men have been through a lot of issues with black women so they decide to date out of their race and hey you got money why the fuck not but besides the point, man, I don't give a fuck about race. At least with me, that shit don't. That shit is like irrelevant to me. But here's my whole situation in plan, and this is what I think of it is right. I think seriously that Little Wayne has got to a point where he's not looking at looks anymore. It's all about how you treat him, and if you treat him well, he's gonna wife you up type shit because he's got money, and a lot of you hoes will be thirsty enough to jump on board regardless you know what i'm saying but it is what it is um but regardless to this situation man we've got to talk more about the metrics because there's so much to cover in this shit so much and i don't even think i'm going to be able to have time to do all this because i got to get into this girl's ig this girl by the name of kimberly man look at this chick man this motherfucking bitch is like muscled the fuck up man this this chick right here was a bottom feeding bitch to Lil Wayne. To Lil Wayne. And she's about to come out with a tell all book. And she's got. She's got. Well. She's got evidence. She's got pictures. She's got proof. She's got papers. So it's not like the niggas. It's not like the bitch is lying. I should say. She's got papers. She's telling the truth. I know a lot of people are like, what in the world would little baby be doing with this muscular fucking Hercules bitch? But at the end of the day, you got to understand, a bottom feeding bitch doesn't have any looks to it. It's just like this. Sometimes you can see some dudes, women, and ladies can take some hint at this too. Sometimes you can see some dudes will have the most beautiful woman in the world by his side and end up cheating on that girl with an ugly ass looking heifer. Because she's a bottom feeder. She's willing to do the things that you won't do. And this is what attracts men to side pieces. Because they're willing to do the things extra. They're willing to have threesomes. They're willing to not give a fuck. They won't say nothing. And this is why little Wayne kept her. Can you blame him? It wasn't about the money. At least that's what I think it was. But I don't believe all that. I think it's still bullshit. But you have to really understand that. These women will still be bottom feeders too. IG models will still be bottom feeders to a person like Lil Wayne. If you got that money. If your money is tight. Why the fuck not? If your money's right. You go have these type of women. Because Lil Wayne falls into that 5 to 10% bracket of what most women want. And it's not even just the looks. Because the guy is short as fuck. He doesn't come off as the tallest black man in the world. You know what I'm saying? And he's not the type of 
uh, men that most women desire. But because of his reputation and who he is, he's going to be in that 5% bracket that most women will chase after because of who he is. We got we to gotta be real with ourselves. I mean, I'm not going to base this on my personal opinion or what I think about the nigga. I mean, those of y'all who follow me for a while, you know exactly what I think of Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I think his face is an abomination to humankind. But hey, that's just me. That's not my my call. That's just my personal opinion. You guys might think differently. But like I said, Lil Wayne's engaged now. And I think it's kind of ironic and crazy how this woman would come out with this story right now. After so many years, what would make her decide to want to do something like this? Well, I'm going to go ahead and play this video and you guys be the decision or, you know, you guys make your choice of what you think of this subject and matter. And I'd like to hear what you guys think. Give me a second here while I go ahead and uh, get this video up. Let me see if I can make this bigger for you guys. Shout out to everybody that's in the building, though, by the way. Thank you all for joining the Andrew 26101 show. Those of y'all who are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter, man. Trust me, I'm going to be live in this bitch very soon. But thank you all for joining the Andrew 26101 show. This is what this show is all about. Real shit. We talk about real events, real stuff that happens, man. But hold on, let me see if I can get this popping. Give me one second. All right, hold on. This bitch look like an Amazon fucking logo. Her big ass arms and shit. Good God. I like a chick long head red bound. Did he say some shit like that? Black head red bound. Let me lick that pussy. All right, let me go ahead and play this shit, man. I'm not for playing games, man. Let me play this, man. I know this is late. I ain't even really trying to be long with this video, man. But let's go ahead and play this. All right, so it says this, man. Wayne, sitting across from me on flight to An Anchorage. 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 Am I pronouncing that right? I can't even pronounce that shit right. Very long, cold flight. Hotel chief flew back with us to prepare dinner the next night. See, this motherfucker money long, bro. And we all know that Lil Wayne is a little bit of a simp when it comes down to red bone women and white women. You could tell he a simp ass nigga, dog. You could tell he a simp ass nigga. Well, Lil Wayne money ain't as long as you think it is, man. It ain't the way it used to be. Because remember, he had to go through lawsuits with ba Birdman. He was back and forth with Birdman. So he made own piece of the label, but he he definitely got money. But his money it is not as big as you think it is. You know what I'm saying? Them young niggas right now is coming up, and a lot of them young niggas is like, listen, man, five. Listen, if if, if Little Wayne hasn't made any investments the right way, like Rick Ross, says, shout out to Rick Ross by the way, because I saw a TV show interview with Rick Ross. Rick Ross made some really good investments he owns like what 22 wing shops the dudes have invested his money the right way and his money has grown but you see a lot of these i'm telling you this right now man it's gonna be a sad sad day a sad not as a day but sad days on earth when you go to see a lot of these rappers be homeless and poor believe it or not it's coming and y'all gonna see that shit because they don't know how to control their money or how to invest their money in the right way. See, when you make that money, just like NBA basketball players or superstars or anybody in the league, you got to learn how to invest your money, man. Because there's life after that shit. You think, you think there's not life after hip-hop? You ain't going to be hot forever. There's so many artists out there. That's why you got to invest your money. You got to do things the right way. You got to stop chasing after these hoes. Well, not really chasing after these hoes. You got to stop paying attention to these hoes that's chasing after you. Because at the end of the day, they're trying to get to where you're at. They're trying to get that bag. They don't give a fuck about you. Even that, that means tearing your ass down. But it says this. With little Wayne, she puts like this. Wayne sitting across from the flight. Very long, cold night. I can't even pronounce that word, so don't forgive me about that shit. Most of y'all can't even pronounce that word, too. So shut the fuck up if you're going to make fun of me. <laughs> Let me stop. If you're going to make fun of me. But anyways, very long, cold flights. Hotel cheap. At least you know I'm a real motherfucker. Flew back with us to prepare dinner for the next 
night. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this, and I'll pause in between, and I'll make my, you know, my wonderful commentary like I always do. Though, shout out to all y'all that's in the building right now, man. Get them thumbs up, man. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Let's go. Let me read this shit. Okay, so this girl by the name of Still I Rose Kim. Why is he asleep in so many pics? Because my daughter would text, what are y'all doing? She loved Wayne to death. He was good to her. I was the hashtag Wayne whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> I could always get him to rest. <laughs> Give it that good sloppy toppy. I could always put him to rest. And since I loved, loved him, that's all I cared about was him. Yeah, I bet you did. Taking care of himself ago. Yeah. Ask yourself that question. I didn't want attention or fame or likes. I just wanted to be with him. Okay, you wanted to be with him. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so y'all can see this shit. I know I'm in the way, but hold on. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. So y'all can read this real quick. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to read this to the side one more time. Why is he asleep in so many pics? Because my daughter would text, what are y'all doing? Question mark. She loved Wayne to death. He was good to her. I was the hashtag Wayne whisperer. So she loved and endured being the side piece. I was his whisperer. I could always get him to rest. <laughs> I bet you can, bitch. And since I loved and loved him, that's all I cared about was him. Take care of himself. I bet you were the only one that was doing that. <laughs> I never tried to get anything else out of any of this. Or y'all would have seen these pictures years ago. Ah, whatever. You're full of shit. Yeah, ask yourself that question. I didn't want attention or fame or likes. I just wanted hurt than anything he just didn't have to lie to me or exit the way he did maybe because you were just a bottom feeding bitch you ever think to yourself maybe you're just a bottom feeding hoe you know what i'm saying you were just a side piece see this is what i don't understand bro this is what i don't understand with side pieces when you i don't understand how the hell you get your hearts broken if he decides not to fuck with you no more it's all it boils down to he don't want to fuck with you no more Cause you were doing too much And that's why he said well man eh, fuck you Maybe he ended up finding himself a woman And he said you know what I'm done playing this game It was fun having a side piece It was fun doing this But yeah it's not even worth it no more I find myself a good woman I'm about to settle down with Fuck you bitches And fuck you whores And he realized that it's not just light skin It's not just dark skin women that's on this bullshit with him But white women too And light skin women You have to understand Little Wayne You are that 5 to 10% of a nigga that every female wants. And that's fame and fortune. Unfortunately, you are one of those. So you are not going to find exactly true love is it what you're expected to find. Because they're looking at you as Lil Wayne, the rapper who has money. And I guarantee you, most of the women are looking at you like this. You are not the nine to five guy like myself or youtube personality who does videos who could possibly find himself something good even with myself i got trolls i got women who do, i don't give a fuck because i'm good anyways but anyways it says this yeah ask yourself that question she said i didn't want attention or fame bullshit then why the fuck did you put this up in the first place or likes dumbass bitch I just wanted to be with him, mm, I bet. And I was regularly, and I miss him. So I'm not bitter, I'm, I'm angry, but
but I'm more hurt than anything. He just didn't have to lie to me or exit the way he did. And he always misses me. Maybe he found somebody different. He's getting married for crying out loud. I mean, he don't want to fuck with you no more. I mean, it happens. Maybe he's done. He doesn't want to pay your old ass shit. Look at you. Bitch, you ain't even worth five dollars. Get the fuck out of here. You crazy as fuck. Talking about you hurt. Talking about you hurt. How the fuck you hurt? I can't even get my smoke out of this motherfucker. I gotta get more of this shit. And this time is no different, she says. But I'm going to keep what's current offline for now. Show me respect and compassion and I'll do likewise. <laughs> Hashtag cash cancer patient. Hashtag at risk. Hashtag please stay home. An inmate on a apologetic look like look into my four and a half year old half year relationship with little wayne so this woman claims to have a four and a half year relationship with little wayne and he's unapologetic what is he because he just left out of your life like that october the 2015 to january the 2020 coming soon but you were a bottom feeding bitch that's what I don't understand. You was a hoe on the side. So how the fuck? I don't understand why these side pieces be catching feelings, though. What's wrong with you hoes? How the fuck y'all be catching feelings like that, man? I, I, I don't get this shit. I just never really get that. Hold on, let me go ahead and fix this motherfucker. I never really understand how you side pieces be catching feelings over over a dude who never really found you to be that main chick. You was never that main chick. You were a side piece. And you happen to be a white woman. And Lil Wayne ain't eh. I mean, for the most part, you know, he's he's not gonna settle with a white woman. It'll be like for a foreign woman or a black female. I mean that's you know, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, what the fuck? Anyway, just keep on playing, man. This shit is crazy. Four and a half year relationship. Man, she was a side piece. This bitch says property of Kimberly Rose. Really? Property of Kimberly Rose? So we supposed to feel sorry for you because you obsessed over a nigga that <laughs> he was supposed to be a side piece to. I don't get this. Taken by an proper property. I didn't even to say property. Taken by property. Uh, property. Popery. She spelled that wrong. But it says taken by property of Kimberly Rose. Bitch, this motherfucker don't belong to you. What's the problem with white people sometimes? It's like. It's like we're supposed to stay cool with the fact that y'all use us and shit. But the moment a black motherfucker starts fucking the shit out of you and using you for pussy, all of a sudden it's a problem. Oh, my God. You were supposed to belong to me. Dick, bitch. You were supposed to belong to me. Little Wayne. You were supposed to belong to me. Ain't nobody belong to you, bitch. You was just a side hoe that sucked some dick and, and eat some pussy on the side. You was a bisexual chick. You was that ride or die bitch. That he was. He, you was that cum guzzling chick that took all that milk to the face. And now you in your feelings because Little Wayne don't want nothing to do with you. This shit don't make no sense. Get it together, man. Come on, you a side piece. Know your position. I don't understand it though. It's not just white women that's like this. It's not just black women. There's Spanish women. There's Asian women. It's a lot of women that play this part as being a side chick. And then when the real bitches come up to y'all and say to y'all, "Well, what the fuck?" You know, when the real bitches who were the real main bitches in the in the niggas' lives, they say, "Well, you the dumb bitch that fucked them in the first place. You just a side hoe." And then you get mad at the main bitch because you ain't the main bitch. Little Wayne was just playing his part and just doing his thing. 
You motherfucking hoes, man. And now you want to extort the nigga? Come on, get the fuck talk about I'm going to put out a sex book. Bitch, you sound stupid as fuck. You a side bitch that got played. That's all it is. And you all in your feelings. Your Bill Bob the Builder looking ass looking motherfucking bitch. The fuck out of here. Let's keep playing this shit. Okay, now she says she got abused now, man. This is some shit you don't play with, man. I'm not going to say Lil Wayne abused this chick. But people saying she cloud chasing, man. And to me, it sounds like she cloud chasing for the money. I just don't see Lil Wayne abusing this chick. I see Lil Wayne fucking the shit out of this chick when I don't think it was around where she was a little bit around this age. I think when she was a little bit younger. I think she was just Lil Wayne ho, so now she got into a certain type of... But then again, who knows? I could be wrong, but a four and a half year relationship, bitch, you looking like this still? You still looking the same. He did this to you in a four and a half year relationship? I guess if you a bottom feeding bitch, if you a side chick, I guess that's a part of, you know, being a bottom feeder, being in a relationship because you a side chick, I guess so. But at the same time, it's just something, something about this shit just don't seem right to me, man. I don't know. I'm just really skeptical about this shit, but let's keep on playing, man. Let's keep on playing. I ain't pointing fingers out and saying he the bad guy and shit, but... This shit just don't sound right. This whole story. Like, why you come out now with this shit? I don't understand. The same thing with Cosby. It's like, you see a whole bunch of white chicks just come out. Oh, my God, he raped me. He put the pill in my drink. That shit happened back in the 1970s. What, bitch, you ain't making money now? So now you want to put point the fingers at the black man. That's why I be telling you black people, man. You black men out there, man. Y'all famous, man. Y'all need to stop fucking with these American people. Stop fucking with these American white women. They ain't nothing but trouble. You thinking they worse than black women, but I'm telling you this right now. They be the ones to get your last locked up. Shit, Spanish women could be the same way too. This shit ain't looking right, man. I'm, I'm telling you this. This shit is suspect to me, but let's keep playing. Witnessed by an L.A. Okay, so check this out. This is some shit that. This is some shit that Lil Wayne said and text her and says, if I let you back in this fucking room, you better shut the fuck up, take that shit off and fucking relax and just be ready to do whatever and whenever. This shit crazy. This shit real crazy cuz. Who the fuck knows if this is real? I ain't saying this is real. And I ain't saying this is fake. But, you know, the bitch got the nigga phone number. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, man. This shit crazy. And she replied, said, I'm any. I'm any to walk to. I'm any to walk to CVS for snacks. Need anything, babe? No, thank you. You want to come by daddy? Right now, babe, you'd have to be very respectful to my work. Okay, okay. So never mind. This is this is Little Wayne, I guess, writing to her saying, "I'm, I'm any to walk." I don't know. You know when you use those Google, for, he probably use those Google fucking, those Google Talk shit because the Google Talk will make you say some dumbass bullshit that make no sense. Sorry, YouTube for cursing though. Like I apologize. I don't mean to be cursing like that, but he, you know. This is just dumb, stupid stuff. But she said, I'm any to walk to CVS for snacks. Need anything, babe? No, thank you. You want to come by daddy right now, babe? You'd have to be very respectful to my workplace and my work, though. Yes, sir. I'm not saying Lil Wayne wasn't fucking with her. I'm pretty sure he was. But at the same time, I got to mute that dramatic music and shit i can't be playing that on this shit because this shit is like really depressing but let's keep playing gotta meet that shit okay so she got she said she got a black eye so in other words 
she was in an abusive relationship with Lil Wayne. And she claiming, what are you doing, ma? Ma, nothing. Come do nothing while wearing nothing over here then. Then she says, give me a few minutes together, babe. Together. What? Thank you, hon. Your house right. Listen, man. Listen, man. I think with Lil Wayne fucked this chick and probably smashed back in the days, but I think she's fucking losing her fucking mind. And I don't think she's telling the truth because just think of it right now, man. Even though Lil Wayne's, Lil Wayne's a multi-millionaire. We got to be real, man. He may not have that, that fame like the way he does like back in the days, but like at the end of the day, he's a multi-millionaire. Why would he deal with this type of woman, though? Just, just be real, man. This is be. We gotta be honest with ourselves, man. You think this don't even look like the type of woman that Lil Wayne would be fucking with, though? On the real, I like a long hair, thick red bound. Pop that pussy. I mean, that's the shit that he would talk about, right? Like, he, she don't look like a long hair, thick red bound. But this is apparently Little Wayne. So apparently Little Wayne says, I need a massage every day. You know that. An hour or two tonight? Let me know. But she agreed to this shit. You bottom feeding that, man. And I can't believe you made me send your shit back. Wow. Sorry. I'll make it up for you. Hot towels. Stones. I'll fix you. And Kim don't Oh wait 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 So ah my bad my bad my bad my bad I gotta rewrite that So I guess Little Wayne is the one in the gray Thank you hon yeah Okay so Little One is the one in the gray She's the one in the green So she's so Little Wayne says I need a massage Every day No no I think I guess Little Wayne's the one in the green And she's the one saying I need a massage every day You know that An hour two Tonight, let me know. That's the white chick replying. So Lil Wayne allegedly replies and says, And I can't believe you made me send your shit back. Wow. She replies, says, Sorry. No, 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 no. She replies, said, I can't believe you you made me send your shit back. Wow. Lil Wayne replies, says, Sorry. I'll make up for hot towels, stones. I'll fix you. And Kim, don't make Wayne do anything we both know that so i'll see you later whenever you say running to the bank right quick okay this shit is fucking weird thank you babe i don't even know so what the fuck she's so fucking dumb she fucking left this nigga's number let me let me see 504 it's 504 new orleans she didn't fucking delete this number. What a fucking dumbass. Let's see 504. I'm, I got to do some investigation here in this motherfucker. Hold on real quick, y'all. Shout out to y'all that's in the building, man. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Let's go 504 area code. If this shit is New Orleans, man. Oh, shit. Look at that. It is New Orleans. Oh, shit. This nigga Little Wayne, boy. This nigga Little Wayne. He fucked up. He probably changed that number. He got rid of that shit. Said, oop. Sure. Said, oop. 15 hours driving to add row three Red Bull Red Bulls just made to Vicksburg. 360 miles to go 5.5 I used to go there as a kid just arrived at the hotel at the motel in Dallas drove straight popped been up 39 hours only did this one times before to see you I'm gonna please listen man I don't make no sense man like I, let me keep playing this shit I can't be playing this Horrible music that they keep playing But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this This shit don't make no sense So this chick uh, Is a friend that replied to her Saying hey beautiful I would love to become you Become you and Wayne sex slaves again Wow so, Wow This shit is crazy So little Wayne has sex slaves 
This is why the shit was cheap and it was easy. Why the fuck these bitches look like men? She's strong, strong arm in the face. Look at her, strong in the face. She's strong in the face too, black and white. I thought he like his chick's long hair, red bound, pop that boy. I thought he liked chick's long hair, red bound. What happened, little Wayne? I thought you liked long, you know, chick's long hair, red bound. At least it was you saying your songs. Uh, this shit crazy. She said, hey, beautiful, I would love to become you and Wayne's sex slaves again. Ooh, <laughs> damn, little Wayne had them sex slaves. Nigga was popping that pool, nanny. Then come back, please, Park. Yes. Okay, I'll put stuff away and lock up. Listen, I've done some crazy shit before, but I'm going to get into that. Just a few minutes, and I'll be on my way. But your panties, but your panties. No, no, shit, I'm sorry. She said, put your panties away, too. This shit is crazy, man. Sex slaves. So, Lil Wayne has sex slaves. But, I mean, if you look at it, it's not really... It's not really that different. So, this chick was taking pictures of him. Dwayne, Dwayne Carter. Wow. What the fuck? Look, come on, bro. Oh, come Little Wayne dude Little Wayne Listen I know you ain't a mo Listen you a multi-millionaire bro You got money bro You ain't got money like them young niggas do And you ain't as man, You ain't as hot as young niggas do But you Little Wayne my nigga You got money bro You mean to tell me that you fucking with these type of scallywaggy bitches man You, you let these bitches be bottom feeders i don't think this bitch looked like this before she's 50 something years old come on this shit don't make no fucking sense oh young Mula, baby she says she wanna lick the rapper this shit don't make no sense lick 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 lick, lick like a lollipop this old ass Cheddar cheese ass looking motherfucker. This bitch got so much cottage cheese on her ass cheeks. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Little Wayne, man. Come on. You could. I, I just don't believe this shit, man. This shit is crazy. Oh, man. This, 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 this is crazy, man. All right. So listen, man. Hold up, let me see if I can get this. Uh, this shit is crazy. Hold on. Okay, why in the world? Oh. Okay, hold on. I fucked up here, folks. Give me a second. Uh, and I just delete that shit. I'm trying to get the chat page. Hold on, y'all. Okay, here we go. I fucked up, man. Man, I'm about to change this. But listen, man. This is this is my personal opinion on the situation and matter. This shit don't make no motherfucking sense. There's a lot of this shit. It just seems so lopsided, right? That a chick like this is using pretty much Lil Wayne for extortion. Because I guess, in other words, he left the coop. He flew away the coop. And he didn't let her know what the fuck was going down. So since he didn't let her know what's going down, she's on her feelings. So her first reaction is like, fuck this nigga. Fuck Lil Wayne. I'm about to expose himself, and, and she's got a tell-all book. Let's go ahead and check her Instagram, man. She got a tell-all book Instagram. Her name is Kimberly Rose, by the way, though. This is the stuff that I... <laughs> wow. All this for being a side piece, man. Because you was a side piece. It sounds like you and your feelings, though. Hold up. Oh 
don't think Lil Wayne want to ride that express anymore, man. You all in your feelings because Lil Wayne don't want to fuck with you no more, man. That's why I be telling these dudes, man, no matter how much money you got, man, you got to stop fucking with these type of women, man. You got enough money, man. Who gives a fuck? You, you got to, man, come on, man. You Lil Wayne for crying out loud, loud, man. You Lil Wayne, man. We got to see this chick's. We gotta see this chick's so, um let me see if I can put this up. Hold on. Shady what a fuck. Battles in the class. Oh Tucci baby. Alright, so this is her this is her uh Instagram. She go by what she go by? Still Hold on, let me see if I can get this in a bigger picture. She go by 50 year old Hold on 50 year old 50 year old Caucasian soccer mom I was Lil Wayne's lover Now she a soccer well, I guess she was a soccer mom 50 year old Caucasian 50 year old Caucasian soccer mom I was Lil Wayne's lover He paid my bill Ha <laughs> ha he paid my bills. So she says, soccer mom says, huh? Please do tell me more about this part of my life. I'm not familiar with London. Leiden, L- L- Leiden, or whatever. I don't know the fuck that I means. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. But, anyways, again, my story is best told by me. Since I'm the one who knows more stories or story, and since I know I'm the one who knows my story, I'm sorry, let me read this again. I'm a little bit dyslectic tonight. Again, my story is best told by me since I'm the one who knows my story. My story isn't about hate or blackmail or manipulation. So what is it about? My stories is a truthful look into my own weakness and failures as well as Wayne's. So, so before you assume things, be very careful about what you say. I'm calm. I'm calming. A lot of people are looking at Ashley Groom's false allegations as gossip. Dangerous things gossip. My book is not about tearing people down, not even Wayne. That's just not how I operate. Yeah, great sales pitch though. Really appreciate that. But because some people have no impulse control whatsoever, and find je- gra- grat- I'm sorry, that finds gratification in spewing hate, I had to turn off the comments. Well, listen. I agree with her, but then I disagree with her. That's just my honest opinion, just based on this situation. But I still think is a money situation. That's what I'm getting. So some people can agree with me with what I'm saying right now. Some people could disagree with me. That's totally fine. But this is just the perception. When I cut in between when I'm talking, it's because I just feel like it's a lot of emotions and not enough truth and not enough stuff substance. In per se and matter what she's saying. But then I do sort of agree with her to a certain extent. And thinking to myself that this could possibly be a truthful situation and matter. But as far as her being in love with Lil Wayne. I highly doubt it. Because you are a bottom feeding bitch. You were a side chick. How can you fall in love with a nigga. Who never intentions was to ever be with you. Completely whole in the first place. But yeah he's with you. You're a side chick. But I guess niggas with money can persuade women like you into uh, giving them a false fabrication of a reality that stimulates your mind and makes you just come all over yourself without being touched. I'm over halfway completed with my writing (laughs) and having torn down a degraded one single person in it not even those who left me as well as themselves feeling insecure and hurt 
I've got a little more compassion in me than those forked tongue haters. Just my style. And of course, you know, I see what the people got to say. Blah. I know, right? Kim, no, no they coming for you. Kim, no, they coming for you. I mean, this could be true. This could be very true. I def it definitely has brought out the racist threats from my uneducated nobodies in the public. Listen, I don't even know if this is real or not, but then this could be very much real. I don't know. I need a bodyguard, but then I need a bodyguard. I'll DM you later regarding that for the some advice listen listen she made herself a target right now and even if this is real and don't get me wrong i do believe in holly weird and i do believe in a lot of dumb shit that they do and i wouldn't believe I, listen i'm not justifying the fact that you're not little wayne's bottom bitch you probably are but you got paid for your services so why the fuck are you mad that the relationship is ended I will tell you why you're mad that the relationship is ended. Because you are no longer receiving those funds from Lil Wayne. So now it bothers you. And that's the that's the real truth of reality. It bothers you right now. Hope you win everyone knows me lol. You're not saying nothing. I have one thank you. I don't know what to believe though. I'll tell you the truth. I really don't know what to believe. Because you got a lot of the clout chasers out here in this world. You got a lot of people out here. But you got to. This is what I say man. I'm going to say this real quick man. To a lot of you entertainers out there. That got little side bitches on the low. That got a lot of money. Or even if you drug dealers. Or even if you have some somebody. That got a name for yourself man. And you out there making money. If you got a little name for yourself. And you making money out there. You got to be really really extra careful. In what's going on in society. Because now you got these type of people who's willing to use your name and put you underneath their dirt so they can get a come up. And now this dude, Little Wayne, could be sued some money because now it looks like he was abusing this chick because abuse is no, it's no joke, man. This is nothing to be joked about. And I really <sighs> happy hour call tonight, man. Listen, man. This shit just don't make sense, man. Let me know when you got somebody to join us. Oh, shit. This is Lil Wayne right here. I definitely can confirm everything she says that you're saying. Even his phone numbers because I know him too. But I want to stay anonymous. I'm sad that he treated you that way, though. Listen, man. I'm not saying this shit ain't real because I think it's very much real because Lil Wayne had hoes. He had side pieces, but in a, in a way, you guys got paid for doing the dirty deeds that you did. And this is what's going on is maybe Lil Wayne stopped fucking with these type of bitches. Maybe Lil Wayne ended up getting older. Now he wants to settle down. Now these chicks is... The past is coming back to haunt this nigga, man. And now he's got these fucking side bitches that he fucked with in the past. You think bitches forget shit? A lot of these dirty ass hoes ain't forgetting shit. If they ain't getting their pay, they're going to try to expose you. That's just how it is. Even if you're in the right. Men, you need to realize this, man. And a lot of you celebrities out there need to realize this too. too. Men, if you have money and you got women that's doing the same shit. But usually this happens to celebrities, man. You got to realize this, man. A lot of these chicks is just using you for your money. And if you ain't paying up the money when they need it in hand, they're going to extort your ass. And they're going to remember the date that you're supposed to give the money and all that other shit. So they're going to remember a lot of shit. They're going to try to make up some shit to make people think they feel sorry for them or make people feel sorry for them. So that way you can look like the bad guy. Not saying that you didn't do this shit, but there's a possibility. Who knows? Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. But this shit sound crazy. Does this include both? Blah, 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 blah. She, she, she knows how she the clue both what whatever how does friday or saturday look when are you free everybody had them bottom feeding hoes like i ain't gonna lie i had a bitch who was unattractive before back in the days and she was my bottom feeding hoe i used to smash it out we had orgies together i fucked four girls at the same time with her i did a lot of dirty shit and i'm hey it is what it is i was young i was having fun 
Everybody had those bottom feeding hoes in their lives that didn't look all that attractive, but even when they're older, they were just a bottom feeding bitch. <sighs> Little Wayne says, "Now, now would be better. Just now would be better." But why is he saying so much shit on a text though? If you're dealing with a chick that you're supposed to meet on the side, you should be calling the bitch. You should call her. But then you know people record voices and shit. But most women ain't that smart to want to record that shit. They will save a text, though. See, one thing is this. A text message, my nigga, a text message is something you can't hide. Because if that shit is out there, you fucked. Yeah. <laughs> you you screwed. So he said, Lil Wayne says this. Now would be better, but just let me know when you good. Will be at least two hours, okay? Okay. Okay, working out details. So she's she's getting he she's getting other bitches to go ahead and fuck him. I'm heading that way. I should be I should buy wine too. Uh, no shit. So why the fuck are you getting mad when you little Wayne's bottom piece though? That's what I don't understand. You snitching on a nigga. Who gives a fuck? At the end of the day, who cares? Who gives a fuck? You looking stupid right now. I don't feel sorry for you, bitch. You was, a, you was a side piece. You was a hoe. You was a hoe. I definitely can confirm everything that you are saying. So who gives a fuck if you can confirm this shit? Bitch, you admitted you was a side piece. I can't wait to read the book. Oh, and you got some black women out there fucking furious. You got black women pissed off at man. Oh, I want to buy your book. Don't buy this bitch's book. That's what that bitch want. I'm buying ASAP. Man, who gives a fuck? This bitch knows how to work you black women too. You dumb bitches go buy this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Don't buy that white woman no fucking book. Man, she gonna be the, the new age superhead. I don't need any, any of that. He says, I know, but I might. She says, I know, but I might. I'm nervous. I just want you to be happy. Okay, send a pic. No phone, babe. Man, you thirsty ass motherfucking bitch. Kimberly Rose. Mid text conversation. Me. This is the life I dreamed of as a little girl. Wayne. I already know. Bitch, well, I, I don't understand why people are supposed to be sorry for you, man. You know the type of motherfucking way little Wayne is. Licky like a lollipop. Nigga go around, Shady went a fuck, better than the clay. Come on, man. Well, I don't understand you motherfucking dumbass. Man, you dumb, stupid biatches. Biatches, you dealing with a rapper. What do you expect? Rappers do this. They smash different women. So, you want the world to feel sorry. I was in a four and a half year side piece relationship with Lil Wayne. I was in a four and a half year side piece with Little Wayne. I was his side piece. And he just had to walk out of my life like that. Bitch, who gives a fuck? You was a side piece. Of course, I'll walk out of your dumb ass too. My life was a fairy tale. I bet it was, bitch. For four and a half years. That's why I always loved him. I understand him on his level. Shut up. She's crying because she ain't seen no fuss no more. I love him. I understand him on his level. Look, look, look at what this girl wrote. I, I love him. I understand him on his level. That few know anything about an intimate exploit. Unapologetic. Look into four and a half years relationship with little Wayne. Bitch, you ain't had no four. And, man, you had a four and a half years of a sucking dick on the side to little Wayne. You was not the main chick. You was a motherfucking side hoe. And you admitted it in your book. So why the fuck are you crying? You was a side bitch. Pretty. You look absolutely amazing. It's, are you single? Please. You think she gives a fuck about you, man? She did a suck off the next celebrity nigga that she can get, man. Who wants to be a sucker millionaire? I'm I Rose Kim. Still I Rose Kim for 500, please. Hey, I really want to take, I really want to talk about your music. Sorry, I'm so dyslectic when I'm high and when I'm drinking. So Little Wayne writes again, what are you doing, mama? Nothing. Come, do nothing while we're in nothing. Over here, then. 
Give me a few minutes to get together. Okay, hon. Your house, right? Yeah. <laughs> a billion dollars. This person says a billion dollar man. And he couldn't fly you out and allow you to stay. See, let me tell you something, man. This is absolutely true. And I believe this, though. A lot of these millionaires that you see right now. Okay, this motherfucker close to a billion dollars. They ain't cheap as fuck. A lot of these dudes is cheap because they got a lot of expenses they got to play too. They ain't trying to spend no money. How is this a fairy tale love story? <laughs> she says, a billion dollar man and he couldn't fly you out and allow you to stay in a motel. See, this bitch didn't even say a hoax. Excuse me. Wow. She didn't even say a hotel. This bitch is a motel. How is this a fairy tale story? <laughs> I guess she's starting to get it together. This shit is ridiculous, man. Come. 1401. And she puts out the number. This is chick about to get sued. If it ain't true. Let's hold on, man. I got got me curious right now. I wanna call let, let's call little Wayne real quick. I gotta see if this I gotta see if this shit is real though. Alright, let, let's let, let's get back. Let's get back to the <laughs> Y'all want to call? Y'all want me to call? Y'all want to call this number? Let me see if it's real. I bet you this number is off, though. <laughs> Y'all really want me to call this shit? Y'all want me to call this shit? Let me get some yeses. Let me get some yeses. Y'all want me to call? Y'all want me to call Little Wayne? All right, all right. Watch, watch. I'm gonna. I'm <laughs> I will call this shit, man. This shit crazy. I'm, I'm gonna call this number. Let me see if Lil Wayne will pick up. I'm gonna call Lil Wayne. I'm gonna call Lil Wayne. I mean, let me find out if if this is true or not, man. Cause I, I gotta call Wayne. I gotta call Weezy real quick. All right, I'm gonna call him real quick. The person you are trying to reach is not accepting calls at this time. Please try your call again later. Oh, you ain't accepting calls, little way. Yeah, Mula, baby. Tuche. You ain't Tuche. Uh, let, me, let me call Star 6 7, man. Let me see if we pick up the phone. Right <laughs> now, we can call Little Way. Oh, shit. Hold on. Licking like a lollipop. Oh. The person you are trying to reach is not accepting calls at this time. This motherfucker probably got so many people blowing up his shit right now. He probably changed that number, Little Wayne, uh, motherfucker. Oh, Tucci. Oh, Tucci, baby. All right, hold on. Let me let me get this out of the way, man. All right, let's, so let's continue with this shit. Oh, hold on. I didn't mean to show that. Let's continue with this shit. Okay, I'm about to come over. Okay, all this other bullshit. I have some. This nigga said, hold on. Let me see if I can get this, this thing right. Um... Okay, hold on, let me get this right. Okay, okay, he says, he says, I have someone, she said, I have someone that's going to have fun with us. Cool? Of course. When? Just let me know. I'll be ready. Come back. So, listen, I had a white chick who was older, and I had orgies with and shit, and I ain't gonna lie, it was the best motherfucking feeling I ever had in the world. And she was just a bottom feeding bitch, bro. Because she just was down for whatever. I had those. So, but a person like Lil Wayne. And she puts out the motherfucking flight. This nigga right here, boy. 12.55 p.m. from Orlando. So, this nigga was in Orlando in July. This must have been July of last year. In July. He left at 12.55 p.m. He probably got one of those. No, uh, at least at least he's flying the regular shit. Wow, she ain't even lying though. About to board, where do I Uber to? 
3 10 p.m. <laughs> Who the fucking knows, man? But l- listen, man. This shit. This shit is crazy, man. She had a four and a half year relationship. She was in the picture with the dude, though. We still need a new pink, too, though. What the fuck is that? We still need a new pink, too, though. Find a new girl like pink. Okay, we'll do my love. Lick a lick a lick a lick a lollipop. Slick slave ass bitch. She do what exactly what the nigga said. Oh, Tucci. I prefer them not to be black, babe. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I prefer them not to be black, babe. Oh, I don't know, man. This ain't looking too good. Okay, gotcha. And I agree that we need a pink. Do you want a, a pink? What do you mean? A pink pussy? Pink pussy? Is this what I mean by pink pussy? Do you want to see Kia again or no? Did you call on accident? This app is bad sometimes. We can, but I told you what to find, Ma. Okay, I will. His daughter is black, this person says. Okay, let's read these comments. I, I, I love to I love to read people's comments, bro. I love it. that's why yo subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. This shit is crazy. What preference change? He's not fucking his daughter, is he? <laughs> what the fuck? LOL. I always knew he didn't care about dark skinned women. Well, duh. He said it in his songs. You dumbass. He did say that. He's got, he's got color issues, though. Shameful. I am ashamed I ever listened to his music. Thank God I have matured. Have you noticed that ever since he says, I like a long, thick, I like a long hair, thick, red bound. That he went to white girls. But have you noticed that ever since he showed this man, ever since that motherfucker started coming out wearing some crazy shit, y'all should have known what type of person you was dealing with, man. You black women, you should have known what type of person you was dealing with, man. That motherfucker came out here skateboarding and shit. Come on, man. You should have known what type of person you were dealing with. His old weirdo ass, man. His old weirdo looking motherfucker. I told you before that little A was an abomination in the face ass looking nigga. Yak Villa, Tuche, oh, ugly ass boy. Oh, abomination in the ass, head ass, boy. Listen, man. Besides all that, man, at the end of the day, he's not into dark skinned women. That's his preference. It is what it is, man. But at the end of the day, at least you know the truth of what it is, man. So at least you know us square ass niggas can get a chance, man. We may not have the young moolah, all these black wigs, but oh my god, he's so fine. He looks so good. You know how many freaking women. Would say, oh my god, little way so sexy. Oh my god, I love him. I love him. Now, all of a sudden, everybody can't stand that nigga because he's out. He's outdated. He's played out. Everybody's on some other new shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. I've been said this a long time ago. Now, nah, everybody wants to agree with me. Before, y'all little Wayne haters. All y'all little Wayne haters. Nah, not a little Wayne haters. Y'all little Wayne lovers. All of y'all that supported little Wayne, y'all would argue me to be, oh, you a hater. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, y'all can't stand this nigga. Oh, he's an abomination to the face. He a hating ass nigga. He's an Uncle Tom ass motherfucker. But listen, man, it is what it is, man. I'm not here to judge the man. I'm just saying, man. I'm just reading what the fuck this girl, this bodybuilder, Bob the Builder ass bitch don't say. Man, anyway, let's get back down to the story, man. Because we got to get down to some real shit, man. Oh, what the fuck? Why my shit didn't show up? Okay, hold on. Give me a second here, folks. Oh, my God. What in the world is wrong with you? Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay, so she says, We still need a pink, too, though. He says, Find a new girl like pink. Like pink? Who the fuck is pink? Oh, maybe that's that high, that side chick they were talking about. Okay, we'll do my love, she says. I prefer them not black, babe. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And I agree 
that we need a pink. Do you want to see Kia again or no? Did you call an accident? This app is bad sometimes. We can, but I told you what to find Ma. Okay, okay, he, he okay. So Little Wayne was the green. I'm sorry, she's the she's the green. Okay, I'm just getting you know, all fucking confused with this bunch of fucking bullshit. I'm ashamed I haven't listened. But how do you know that's really him though? Just because she put Wayne on there. What a great accomplishment, cancer free and weight loss. But then again, maybe she's telling the truth. We don't know, man. Or maybe she's just bullshitting everybody. But yeah, I know, man. I I, I seen I, I seen pictures with them together. I seen the feet, and I seen Little Wayne. So I don't know. I, I watch how I tell you YouTube celebrities, and also celebrities that are out there. You gotta be careful. These girls is out here to set you up. These women will set you up if they don't get what they want. They got a whole list of collateral on your ass. That's why I don't fuck with white bitches. Because they will get your ass set up. Oh, yep. He did it. He did it this time. It don't matter. It's her word against yours. And the fact that she said she was physically abused by this nigga. You fuck, little way. Regardless if you did it or not, you fucked. An inmate exploit. Unapologetic look into my four and a half. Your relationship with Lil Wayne from October the 2015 to January the 2020. Coming soon, author, book coming soon. See, she's about to make this, she's about to make that moolah, that moolah. She's about to make that money. Where to, babe? I'll let you know. Just making sure you up. I'm going to hit you up in an hour. This is what Lil Wayne is talking about. I'm going to hit you up in an hour. Okay. I want you out of your clothes soon as you get here and you do what I say. <laughs> I want you out of your clothes soon as you get out here and do what I say. Yes, sir. You got my heart racing house now. <laughs> this book needs to hurry up. <laughs> Keep sharing, guys. The book is half written. Is she? Listen, man. Is she not afraid of her day or of her well being, of her danger? Because listen, Little Wayne ain't personally gonna do stuff, but he has his money is pretty long, and he if he wants to get you exterminated from life, he could probably do that. So I don't know if it's just I don't know, man. This is this is this is really crazy, man. But she is white, and she is a white woman, so maybe you gotta understand, folks. And I've been trying to tell black people this. Is that a black woman could probably be murdered or exterminated or being killed by his goons and get away with. And he could possibly get away with the situation if he wanted to put a hit out on a black woman for exposing him. But when it comes down to a white female, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. And you a black man, it ain't going to look good on you. Keep sharing, guys. The book is half written with initial editing. I know y'all aren't liking my posts or following me, but every share will bring more attention to it, and the book will address some very real and serious issues. I honestly think the book will connect more people than y'all can possibly believe, even at this point, because there is much more coming. Wow. Little Wayne, you got some explaining to do. Do I believe this shit? I do. As crazy as it is, I think this is real. But I think at the same time, she's using blackmail and manipulation on this motherfucker. She's blackmailing this guy and she's manipulating him into getting what she wants. 
But it's true. Because one thing I know with women, man, they ain't gonna lie about shit. They go t- they go keep evidence, especially if you try to pay them down. And like, ah, right, you pay me this money, but you didn't owe me this. Or if you didn't even pay her the money that she was looking for, she gonna use you as blackmail. I honestly think the book will connect more with people. See, she's so focused on the damn book. This is how you know this chick was all about the money, bro. She about that money. I honestly think the book. She's not about like, oh my god, he abused me. He hurt me t- Why don't you go to the cops bitch Why don't you go to the cops I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry You guys can hate me for all you want See I'm probably gonna have some people That's gonna hate me For having a different mindset On thinking on this But you gotta be Let's keep it real If you've been abused by a man Why don't you go to the cops Why are you so busy Trying to promote your book Think about it Oh I'm gonna promote my Man you've been physically abused by this man this man abused you physically you're at a at a point in life where you're you're physically at a at a at a at a, at a tormented stage of mental thought you know what i mean like you're mentally fucked you need to go to uh, the police you need to go to somewhere somewhere where somebody can get you some help Cause you've been physically abused Why are you out here trying to push your book That's all you care about Is pushing your book I honestly think the book will connect more with people Than all can possibly believe Even at this point Because there's so much more coming Ooh. So many people Are going to read this And say whoa she's promoting us You gotta understand motherfuckers you, Man y'all, y'all gotta understand man Y'all need to really understand right now. At this point in time, man. At this point in time, man. There's a recession, man, in a way. There's a recession going on. At this point in time, people losing money, man. So people doing what they got to do to, to, to gain that money. So she says this. So many people are going to read this and say, I know how that feels. Or that me. Or whatever. It, an intimate exploit unapologetic look into my four and a half year relationship she keeps pressing this as a four and a half year relationship when it was nothing more than you were a four and a half year side piece in what's that i can't keep thinking of word what's it called what's it called blacked out.com porn bitch that's all you was you was there sucking some black dick and you was a porn chick but damn this is crazy if you can this book drop like now people saying can this book drop? let me let me go ahead this this shit is crazy right here man this shit is crazy right here if y'all man hold on let me go ahead and see hopefully youtube don't get in the, in their panties in a bunch when i showed them this but hold up y'all gotta see this shit this shit is this shit is crazy right here this shit is crazy right here. So, this chick right here. Wow. Who did this to you? I can't see. Read this book. Is this what she trying to say? Little Wayne did this to her? Wow. Look at all these messages. Wow. Can this book drop like right now? Let's see what this chick. I just want to see what she look like. Uh, she look like one of them white fake bitches. Anyway. anyway. Look at this, man. Witnessed by an LA model oh, April 25th, 2019 Witnessed by an LA model And makeup artist named Tanya An inmate Exploit unapologetic look Into my four and a half relationship With half With hashtag Lil Wayne I wonder if she's just using this dude for extortion man Is this even real? What the fuck? This is the result on the left side. What the fuck? Dog. Left side from being picked up by your hair. Yo. She got pictures with the nigga too. This is. Young Moolah, baby. Y'all believe this? You know what's so crazy? I haven't even really seen this. What picture of me too? I have one, thank you. But you snitch ass bitch, so I'm, I'm out. 
hope you win. Everyone knows me. You not saying nothing. This shit is crazy. Is she just doing this for clout? Why is she mad? She knows you trying to write a book about details about wants details from you just to spoil on her site ass backwards. Listen, man, I'm not here to point fingers at anybody, but listen. This right here can be made up by anybody too. But at the same time, let me look at Lil Wayne real quick. Because you know you can make up you know you can make up words and shit. You know you can make up words like you can make up a profile of a person and make them say things and it's not really them. You know, there's websites. Let's see what Lil Wayne said. Lil Wayne's on here. Let's see what people say. What do people say about Lil Wayne? I don't think anybody really cares about the shit. It's, see, the thing about it is, it's not as big as people claim it to be, though. Know? Because, you know, Lil Wayne, obviously, Lil Wayne ain't gonna talk about that shit. Got something special coming real soon. The only dude that can pull off Uggs. <laughs> oh, shit, man. What are you wearing? Are you really going to ignore the fact that I... The most beautiful woman in the world. Damn, man. Like, these chicks is thirsty as fuck on here, boy. You see, when... Well, listen, man. I don't want to hear when females say that niggas is mad thirsty. A lot of you groupy-ass bitches is mad thirsty trying to get into Lil Wayne's pockets, man. Of course, man. Of course, why not? Oh, shit. This bitch bad, though. But that's a fake ass. Like, you got to hold... Man, you got to... Hold your shit private, bitch. You know, I got a fake. I got, listen, man. I ain't gonna get too deep in that, man. But, you know, I, I got fake females hitting me up on IG all the time. Trying to act like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they want to be into me. And they could be fake and shit, too, man. Like, I get that shit all the time, too, from different women. And they, they, they on some fake shit. What the fuck is this? Manny Fresh... Yo, ass look homo as shit. Let's look at me. Oh my god. Hey, y'all. It's a sad day all around the world. You heard me? Today I gotta go pick out a casket for my homeboy Scott Storch. What? Damn, Scott. Okay, first of all, that, that's probably fake. Scott Storch ain't that. Almost got my ass. Manny Fresh, you lesbian looking ass nigga. Nigga, look. I always like loved you, bro. I always liked you. Why this nigga look like a lesbian? What the fuck? Fresh, fresh, fresh. Nigga, like a nigga, you look like a lesbian. You look like a black lesbian. What the fuck happened to you? What the fuck? What the fuck happened to these niggas? These dudes look like a le this motherfucker right here, boy. This dude looking like a lesbian, man. What the fuck happened to Manny Fresh, yo? Lesbian ass looking, my boy. Dude look like a lesbian. Look like a black lesbian. Look at his mom. Sometimes people do stupid things. Oh, know? yeah. And you gotta pay for it. Mm. You do stupid things. Damn, Scott. We know. I don't know about doing that shit, but damn, Manny, Manny, you looking like a lesbian. You look like a black lesbian right now, boy. You gonna sit your ass down. Little Wayne actually looks normal. He the only nigga that looked weird the fuck out 10 years ago and looked normal. But this nigga right here, man, he fresh, man. You look like a lesbian. You look like a black lesbian chick. Look at this yeah, motherfucker right here. It's a sad Yo, day. Yeah, it is a sad day. Yo, lesbian looking ass. Nigga look like a lesbian. A black lesbian bitch. Let's go ahead, man. Let's change this shit, man. Shout out to Lil Wayne, though, man. They, they too, Jay. But this motherfucking bitch right here, boy. Oh boy, man! But listen, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna end this shit, man. This, 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 this. Hold on, let me go back, man. I'm fucking up right now. A lesbian ass looking nigga. Look at, look at the chicks, man. Look at the chicks he be talking to, man. Look at Tuche real quick, man. Oh, 
I'm trying to go in the middle of it. Trying to make the middle of the world when I try to do certain things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I try to make the middle of the world. Are you an actual Harry Potter fan? Are you an actual Harry Potter fan? The truth of the truth is, I don't know nothing about Harry Potter because I'm so motherfucking high. I be on the code I be on that motherfucking syrup. I don't know what the fuck be going on, but that boy. That nigga fucked up out of his motherfucking mind. My boy Little Wayne is in a motherfucking galaxy right now, boy. He had another motherfucking world right now, boy. <laughs> this nigga Little Wayne is stuck in 2000 motherfucking 10, boy. <laughs> this nigga stuck in 2010. You don't know what the fuck going on, man. See what I tell you, man? Hip hop changes just like that, man. Just not too long ago, back in 2008, 2000, between 2008 and 2012, Lil Wayne was the hottest thing around. And ever since Young Money or whatever started fucking with his money and shit, and, you know, he's all over the motherfucking place. He don't know where the fuck he is, man. He, he don't even think he's on planet Earth right now. Shit is all fucked up and crazy. You got Bob the Builder fucking bodybuilding bitches claiming that they fucked him and shit and saying that they side pieces and uh, Little Wayne probably go through this shit all the time. He probably got so many girls already trying to put out books. Listen, this is what I think, honestly. I think she was just a side piece that he smashed back in the days of some dumb shit. And what it is, is she's trying to make this false fabrication of this false reality of a relationship that they had with each other. When really and truly, she was just a side piece biatch that was on the side i don't think little wayne really cared about her the way she fucking four year and a half relationship get the fuck out of here bitch you was a side piece you would never have admitted that you was a side piece hoe get the fuck out of here man this shit don't make no sense go ahead little wayne do your thing even though you do that, you are you high up on my go do that, that yeah dude yeah dude you baby <laughs> you know, if you kind of stay with black women, man, and just kind of break them off a little bit of cash, maybe they wouldn't be the way they are towards him or whatever. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. If you got a black chick as a side chick and you just be absolutely real real with her and just say hey listen man i got a shorty i'm gonna be real with you but you bad as fuck and i want to keep you on my side you heard i'm gonna take care of you type shit and you stay to that shit she ain't gonna say nothing she gonna hold you down for the most part black women ain't gonna say shit they don't give a fuck as long as you taking care of them <laughs> that's it white women it's a little bit different they gonna get emotional about the motherfucking bullshit I don't know, but yeah, maybe Spanish women too might fall in that category. But they go get emotional about the shit. And if you ain't with them and knowing the fact that they can't have you all to themselves, they go fucking try to extort your ass, man. Same thing as white women and Spanish women. They'll probably extort your ass to try to get more money out you, man. Come on, man. You got to know the game, little Wayne. 
You can't be getting played out here in these streets, man. Young dude, Jay. Nigga, I don't know what the fuck you talking about right now. All I know is that black chick look bad as fuck, and I'll smash the shit out of her. That's all I know. But let's keep on playing. Yo, that chick that's interviewing Little Wayne right now, she can get it. Alright, that's enough of that shit, but she can get it, though. That bitch bad as fuck. That's all I gotta say. She bad as a motherfucker, man. But anyways, man. Look look at look at Manny Fresh, old dyke ass looking lesbian ass looking boy. Yeah, but Fred, Fred, do, 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 Fred, it is a sad day, my nigga. You looking like a diked out lesbian, man. man. Bring your ass over here, boy. Bring your ass over here, boy. Are you diked out looking lesbian ass looking boy? Boy, you look like a black lesbian bitch. Get the fuck out of here, man. man. What the fuck you looking like that for, man? Anyways, man, enough with the jokes, man. God damn, what happened, man? What happened to Manny Fresh? Boy, I tell you, man, these niggas from the South, boy. Man. I don't need any any of that. I know, but I might. Listen, man. This is some of the conversations. No phone, babe. I told you. I told you something. Uh, traffic, sorry. ABT, how far? 15 minutes, okay. On 15 Man, this is looking crazy, man. But listen, man, I'm about to sign. What the fuck is this? Get deleted at 275k followers. Book coming soon. Bodybuilder. This chick really got it out for Wayne, bro. Hashtag world star hip hop. Got deleted at 250k followers. Book coming soon. Bodybuilder. <laughs> this motherfucker fuck the bodybuilder, bitch. But listen, hashtag dirty little secrets. Listen, I, I don't know, man. It looks too good to be true. I mean, the messages are there, but then you could also fake that shit, man. See, see, women fail to understand that you could fake that shit, man. You could fake that shit. You could fake all of that. You could fake all of that, man. You could put on a fake ass show and claim that. This is you, yeah, 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 and he did this to me, and all this other bullshit, man, but at the end of the day, man, hold on, let me see if I can, uh, give me a second here, folks, that doesn't mean that it may not be, it may not be true or not, I don't know, nobody knows. Nobody knows what the fuck going on, man. Hold on, let me see what the fuck. How come I can't get this on? Hold on. Why can't I get my shit on? Do I got too many? Hold on. Okay. All right. So I'm going to end this video, folks, man. I'm going to say it like this, man. Nobody knows at the end of the day what the hell has been going on, man. Like I said, this is all comedy at its finest, but at the same time, there's some truth to this, all right? Do you guys believe that Lil Wayne was out here abusing bodybuilder women or abuse of bodybuilder women and had this woman as a side piece? I think she had, I think he had her as a side piece because obviously you've seen Lil Wayne Let's go ahead and show that video again so that way you guys can get a better perception of it. Let me see if I can uh, get that video up so y'all can see this. Hold on. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to sign off, but this got me. I ain't even tweaking right now, man. Shit. But this shit got me fucking thinking, like, you know, and no, no offense to Lil Wayne and, you know, his newly wife or his newly... You know, you know, fiance and shit. But I mean, we really gotta be truthful here, though. On some real shit, like I just don't really see Little Wayne like really being thirsty for a build Bob the Builder 
bodybuilder bitch. You know what I'm saying? When he can get model bitches like this, like look bad as fuck. I just I just don't see that happening, man. Honestly, I like, I'll be fucking these bitches left and right, because like, these are the type of women that Lil Wayne get. These are the type of women that I love to smash. Like these Kim Kardashian, I love them fake boobs, fake ass type titty ass bitches I could smash on the side. I would smash it down if I was Lil Wayne, if I was in his shoes. But you gotta think to yourself, man. This is just me. This is just a man talking, though. I guess after some time, you know, you get older, and yeah, I can understand that, but if I got money, I don't know, my life would be different though, man, I would, I would probably think differently, man, I wouldn't be yeah, chasing after a Bob the bot, bot, bot Builder ad bit, but hold on, let me see if I can um, show y'all this video again, hold on, I just don't get it, like, this is the type of Bitches that regular nine to five dudes or dudes who are not in the five to ten percent bracket of women lusting after them would smash. But then again, who knows? Maybe these are these are just easy type of women that would do whatever he says. And when it comes down to that, you know, most men, no matter what the woman looks like, you know, they love a woman who's in control. And most of these women can't be controlled. They're not gonna they're not gonna do what little Wayne says because they're making their own pockets. These model looking women are making their own money. So they're not going to be like easily manipulated into doing what Lil Wayne says, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I'm just speaking that from that perspective. But I'm going to go back to this uh, this video, right, man? Y'all be the judge. I'm going to play this one more time and then I'm signing off. I don't want to play that dumb, horrible music, but uh, let me see. This is crazy, man. Y'all, y'all, look at that. this fucking music is horrible. Like, what the fuck, bitch? <laughs> I'm so sorry. You had to relate. Man, come on, man. If Lil Wayne really did this to this woman, that's fucked and crazy. That's crazy. But I don't know, man. I just why now? You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn. Oh, you got to ask this chick, too. Maybe this chick is probably in her, on the bag, too. Because you got to understand, though. Lil Wayne say he... Like, this is why I don't understand, though. This is this, the this shit that I don't get, though. I don't even think this shit is true because I, I, I ain't even hearing too much of this. Hotel in Michigan before we flew. Man, listen. Listen. I think you was just a groupie asshole that got fucked. And got a little bit of cash and got a little bit of money and you were expecting to get more money out of it. And he didn't want to give you no money. That's what it is. He ain't giving you shit. So you felt some type of way. So now you want to play this extortion role and you want to get your tranny black girlfriend to fucking play in participation in the role. Like, hey, yeah, we had sex together. We all had sex together. I don't believe this shit. For some reason, I don't believe this shit. I don't believe half. I believe they fucked. But I believe that she wasn't looking for the money that she was expected. And I think Lil Wayne jipped her out of some money. So now she wants to do this extortion shit. That's what I really believe. That's just my opinion. I mean, y'all may have a different opinion on it. I want to know what you guys think. Because I'm very curious to know. I'm very curious to know. Because I don't really think that cash out bank of, wow, of America 500. Bitch, you ain't that, Bitch, you should be glad that nigga No, no, no This nigga Lil Wayne sent you what? 125, 125, 500, 500 Shit Bitch, you, shit, you should be lucky you got that 5, 6, 7, I mean, Ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Notice that she hide Davon Diaz So she, she was This chick, man, why y'all feel sorry for this chick? This chick out here selling pussy on motherfucking, uh, motherfucking uh, asking for that cash app and shit. She asking for the cash app. Man, come on, Devon D Diaz paid her $250, but she trying to hide that. She trying to hide the fact that Dwayne gave her $1,000, failed. Come on, man. This chick is nothing more than trying to get a come up on this shit. Hold on, my bad, y'all. She trying to get a come up on this shit. Hold on, I fucked up here. 
she trying to get a come up on here, man. This shit don't make no damn sense. This shit don't make no damn sense, man. Hold up. Man, she just trying to get a come up, man. That's all it is, man. But anyways, guys, I want to know what you think. Rate the video. Leave your comments. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. That's all I got to say. Thank you all for joining the podcast. Follow me on Instagram, man. Write your comments down below because I do read your comments, man. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, guys, God bless you all through this quarantine thing. I hope y'all stay safe. Anyways, I'm out of here. Deuces.